all right welcome back to the channel today we're going to be watching captain america civil war now i almost said the avengers civil war but it's captain america civil war we are officially on phase three i believe i believe this is the start of phase three what dude oh my god why every single time i get on disney plus i'm logged out like why why okay yes this is the start of phase three okay i just looked up on uh disney plus this is the start of phase three it's the first movie listed in phase three okay i got a question what's like what is this one shot team thor part one what what is that and then the one shot team daryl like like what the fuck what are those like i i okay anyway whatever anyway um okay so one thing i do want to kind of mention and kind of explain a little bit is i've seen a couple comments is i've seen a couple comments of people saying whenever i start talking the movie or the tv show or whatever it goes away but okay so pretend the tv show is like right here right pretend we're watching something so okay and then i start talking like that it goes away and it cuts away then i stop talking no and then i start talking and then it goes away the reason okay i have to do that because i don't i can't show the full movie or i can't show too much of the movie on youtube or the video won't be public and i don't mean not monetized that's not what i mean i don't mean the video will get demonetized what i mean is if i show too much of the movie in this youtube video it won't even be public it won't be visible and it'll get a copyright claim and then i'll have to dispute the copyright claim and if i show too much there's a good chance my dispute will get rejected and then i gotta go back and cut a bunch of stuff out and i typically i compared it to some other reactors like um like for example natalie gold v kuna it's a primate or video and a couple others like that and the way they edit their videos is they show a lot less than i do they show a lot less of the tv show than i do and that's probably why they don't have to put a watermark on their video too that's in why i do because if i if i uploaded the same exact video without the watermark it's not getting cleared there's no chance it's never worked so when i put the watermark on it works gets cleared no problem so and it's because i show a lot more of whatever we're watching versus how much they show so that's pretty much why i have to start cutting when i'm talking when i start talking and i i don't want the movie to be playing while i'm talking just because i don't want to have to talk over the movie unless unless like something happens within the movie like i'm already talking about one thing and then something happens and i'm like oh shit you know and then like then i'll show it again so you can see why i just went like oh shit or like whatever right does that make sense and yeah i just and like that kind of falls back onto me is doing a better job of not talking too much but at the same time it's like i don't want to just kind of like sit here like this like i don't know i'm still trying to find like a good balance of that where I'm saying, like, I'm not just sitting here saying nothing, but I'm also not, over, but I'm also not overdoing it. You know what I mean? So I don't think people, I don't think most people have a problem if I do say something. It's more of like, okay, what if what I just said was that relevant to what just happened? <laughs> you know, like, I know I kind of go on like side tangents about shit or whatever, but I'm just excited to share that story with you or sh share something with you guys. So, but I, I will do a better job of being more mindful of that. And also I will be more mindful of this microphone because like, I don't know if you can see here. Cause like what I'll do is when I'm watching, I'll kind of just do this. Like I'll be, I won't be saying anything and I'll kind of just like, you know, I'll be like fidgeting. I'll be like moving my hands down there while I'm watching or whatever. And I didn't really realize it kind of the microphone picks that up you know I you know I didn't really think about like the microphone picking this up so I'm gonna try not to do that so I haven't seen this movie but I've definitely seen some clips from it and I have a 
think a pretty good idea of like what's happening and i just really don't know like why it's happening really i know like they all fight each other for like some reason like they disagree on something like for some reason they just have beef with each other and they just start fighting over something i don't know it's probably like it's probably something like different viewpoints on like how to go about certain things i don't know but i know black panther shows up in this i've seen that actually you know what's funny when this movie came out this movie came out in 2016 i think and then in like 2017 it was out on my tv in my living room and i was just like oh okay i'll watch this and then i literally fell asleep in like 20 minutes of watching this but to be fair it was like midnight when i went out there to go watch it so i was already pretty tired but yeah i kind of so i kind of remember a little bit but like not much i think it was black panther chasing someone on the highway or something like that that's like all i can kind of remember and then i i've seen like clips of them fighting at the airport and stuff but but yeah but anyways i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this movie if you want to watch the full length reaction that will be available on patreon as well early access to the next two mcu movies will also be on patreon so let's get started 1991 also forgot to mention in the intro that the ant-man post credit scene showed sam with cap and bucky and so they were like i don't remember exactly but they said something like hope tony doesn't find out about this or like we won't tell him so and i think that plays into this movie so we'll find out what they mean by that <laughs> Okay, so they're just brainwashing him even more. I guess the Russians got a hold of him. And the Germans lost him. <sighs> what was he what was he getting there? Like it just looked like Cialis. I don't know, it's probably some important tech like super soldier serum. I don't know. Something like that. Okay. Oh, it's Wanda. Okay. I mean, that's a way to do it. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. His dropkick has so much power. God. I'll never get over the fact just how, like... How much power Cap has as a super soldier? What are they after? Oh, is this fucking... Is that supposed to be Punisher? I'm not too familiar with, like, that side of Marvel. But that's what his mask looks like. Oh my god, I love... Oh my god, I love Scarlet. Oh, pfft. Fire in the hole. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's the dude who fucking... Okay, they, yeah, they said Romolo, right? That's his name. I'm pretty sure I have the face to that guy. That's the dude who tried to, like, press cap in the elevator, right? And he literally got, like, he got burned alive in Cap's movie, in Winter Soldier. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How does Cap survive that? <laughs> like, I guess he's a super soldier, but, like, how does he never break a bone? <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's why Romolo is he's in the he's in this stacked out suit now. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, you fucking burned me alive. Oh my god, that was so raw, Scarlet. God. Dude, I feel like the choreography in this movie is a lot better. Oh my fuck. Okay, yeah, I feel like the choreography in this movie has taken a step up compared to the other ones. His name is Red Wing. <laughs> cute, but I bet him. No. Oh, um, maybe it's shot differently too. So that's why it looks a little bit better. This is for dropping a building on my face. <laughs> yeah, well, what are you gonna do now? You lost an arm. Okay, yeah, I feel like they also don't cut away too soon when they're fighting. They show the shot long enough so you can tell what's happening. You know, they don't... Oh, my God. I I good, all considered. No. Fire. You know I knew you. Like, 
You know when they just cut up fight scenes too much? And you're coming with me. No, no chance. Oh, good shit. Okay, yeah, Wanda's pretty fucking powerful. And she doesn't, yeah, she just, oh my god, Wanda. We gotta get up there. Yeah, she feels horrible about that, but she probably couldn't really control it. You know? She probably is just focusing so hard on containing that grenade. She was just like, you know, and it just happened to go into that building. What's her name? Candace. Oh, I have Candace. Okay, I'll get the bags. What's happening right now? When you're not here. I thought his parents were... And frankly... I his parents were dead. You're going to miss us. I mean, he looks a lot younger, so I guess it's a flashback or something. I love you, Dan. Okay, that's oddly specific for a flashback. This feels really off. Little therapeutic experiment. Okay, no. okay, that makes a lot more sense. Something just felt really weird about that. Right where I want to be. Okay, okay. Hey. I work for the State Department. Okay. I mean, her saying, like, I'm right where I want to be, that's hella sus. <gasps> In Sokovia. Uh. In the least to you. Wow. Was he collateral damage? And I blame you. Wow. <sighs> that probably just hit Tony. Like, reality just hit him. That, like, yeah, you're saving people, but a lot of other people are dying, too. Right in the middle of my backswing. Wait, didn't this guy actually pass away in real life? My mom told me that, like, a couple weeks ago, I think. R.I.P. if he did. Concerned about what they leave behind. I mean, when you put it that way, like... I guess. New York. Bro, bro, there's fucking aliens. What do you... You can't get mad at the Avengers for doing what they did. Like, what the fuck are they supposed to do? <laughs> the Avengers were formed to make the world a safer place. Okay, well then, your fucking stupid ass little army is gonna go deal with these aliens and Ultron and all this extra bullshit. <laughs> okay, wait, okay, okay. In the first Avengers movie, I remember, okay, I, I don't know if it was this guy, but someone said, send a nuke into the city, okay? A nuke is gonna kill way more people than what the Avengers did. Okay, so their solution is, okay, we'll take the Avengers, we'll set them out for this, and we'll just nuke it instead. How is that any better? A nuke is going to kill, like, a couple hundred thousand people versus, I don't know how many people died in the first Avengers of New York, but maybe, like, a couple thousand there? Hmm... Kept your looks. Oh, okay. This is the dude who was helping Bucky, I guess. Oh my god, that's so fucked up. That's such a fucked up torture device. It's those. Yeah. What do you want? What happened on the mission? Go to hell. Oh my, he's loyal. He's not saying shit, dude. His lips are sealed. That's a horrible way to die. Oh my god. Drowning's like my biggest fucking fear. The number of potentially world ending events has risen at a commensurate rate. It's, it's coincidence. Hear you or did you agree with me? Oh, I want to take it back. No, 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 you can't retract it. Thank you. Okay. I, I see where the difference is in opinion. Wait, she's gone in her sleep. Oh, Peggy. He's talking about Peggy. Damn. Okay, okay, but I do see the difference in ideologies or whatever here. Tony doesn't want to kill innocent people by collateral damage. Oh, Cap uh. But Cap just wants the but Cap wants freedom, and he doesn't want his rights taken away from him. And he thinks the safest thing is to have the control back in his hand. You know. They don't have any limitations. They can have as much control as they need to do what they need to get done. If they have... But Tony wants to give that up willingly so he could still have some control before he, it just 
he'll give up, let's say, like a quarter of it so he could still have three quarters of it versus it just all being taken away from him. And Tony just doesn't want to lose unnecessary lives anymore in collateral damage. Cap doesn't either. He's more on the side of, like, this is a war. People die. It sucks. But shit happens. Is that Chadwick? <gasps> that is Chadwick Boseman. R.I.P. Chadwick. Unless you need to move the piano. Baba. <laughs> Yeah, we're part of a goodwill mission from the country. Oh, it was vibranium that they stole. That's what they're okay. I think that's what they were getting in the beginning of the movie that was stolen from Wakanda. That's why they're here. He's proud to extend his hand in. Oh, no, no, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> ah, damn, RIP. King T'Chaka. Damn. <laughs> Alright, we gotta go get Bucky again. Oh, no, he's gonna go get him. Oh, no, he's after him. I'll kill him myself. Yes. Then you'll arrest me? No. No, Cap, you gotta sit this one out. If you interfere, that's how it works. Yeah. Just, be just because you have personal feelings in this and it's like you're, you're you're not gonna kill you're not gonna kill bucky dude you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to do it i mean i get he's your best friend cap and you want to save him he bucky bucky's not a good person right now <laughs> what the fuck is that <laughs> yeah oh wait so is it not bucky who blew him up who had the bomb yeah, I mean, that just shows you right there. Captain America's worried about people dying. It's collateral damage, too. Well, this this wouldn't be collateral damage. This would just be Bucky killing someone. But, you know, he just doesn't want... His, he just doesn't want to have limitations on how to save people. <laughs> Bucky. Okay, that was fucking sick how he used the guardrail to swing down. Damn. Hey, here we go. Our first look at Black Panther, technically. Okay, that right there could have killed someone. Like, you're... I mean, it just moved the helicopter, but, like, they could crash. It's so, like, try not to do shit like that, I guess. Oh my god, they're fucking moving. Holy fuck, how do you know? Bro, someone clock these guys right now. How? What's their 40 time right now? They were moving right there. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Down now. Cap, stop trying to help Bucky. Come on. Like, we get he's your friend, but he needs... No. Congratulations, Cap. You're a criminal. Yeah, Cap. Yeah, this is foul by Cap. Not like foul, but it's definitely the wrong move by Cap. Yeah, so you can see him and be like, your friend killed my dad. So Cap could see him and realize why he was trying to kill Bucky. And we got Vision cooking over here. <laughs> That's not what everyone else sees. Make sure they don't know you yet. You know? I mean, I'd be pretty fucking scared of Wanda if I saw her fighting. I I wouldn't know what to think about that if I'm being honest. Safety. Well, I can protect myself. Or, you, not she, yours. She, she's not gonna kill anyone, Vision. Avoid the possibility of another public incident. Bro. Until the more secure foundation. Bro, that's kind of insulting. It's not like she's gonna go out there and just murder someone. Or go into a fight immediately. Like, she only has to really use her powers to an extreme extent when she's, like, fighting someone that requires it. If someone were just mug her, she'd be like, get out of here, you know? So you like cats, Sam? <laughs> he, does, he does have the claws. You know, I was going to say that, but... <laughs> you can keep your friends safe from me. <laughs> Probably not very long. What's going to happen? Same thing that ought to happen to you. I'm gonna put him down. Force commander. What about a lawyer? 
Lawyer. <laughs> we don't get See their weapons are placed in lockup. Yeah, I uh, will write your Monkey does not get a lawyer in this situation. <laughs> Technically it's the government's problem. We did. That's cold. Yeah, that, that is, that's fucked. I mean it's better than jail, yeah, but definitely not. We're taking a break. Oh, they broke up? It's nobody's fault. I don't remember that. <laughs> I only knew him when he was young and single. Oh, really? You two knew each other? Yeah, we were best friends. Maybe only a thousand times. Yeah, he probably bragged about God, it to Tony. So Tony probably already kind of hated Cap before he even met him. Not like hated him, but already kind of had animosity for him. Because how much his dad talked about him. Sign it. Sign it. It's internment, She's Tony. not a U.S. citizen, and oh, they don't grant on, visas Tony. to weapons of mass destruction. She's a kid. Give me a break! You know, I don't really like how Tony was like, just sign it now for PR purposes, and then we'll amend it later. Like, no, nah, let's 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 amend it now. Let's fix that now, and then I'll sign it. That's what Cap probably wanted to do. And like how he's holding Wanda in the facility, it's like, dude, let her live. Don't do it, Cap. Don't worry. Yeah, this guy right here. It seems like he framed Bucky. Yeah, what the fuck is this? I was gonna show down the power where Bucky is so he can get out. All of his security just turned right off. Oh no. He's saying, okay, so yeah, this is gonna basically brainwash him and turn him in to just kill mode. That's why they showed the beat. That's why they showed us the beginning scene. Okay. I was like, what do all these fucking random words mean? I got to let you charge. Oh, fuck. November 16, 1991. Okay, yeah, he just. Oh, wow. Okay, so now he. He just wants to know the mission report. That's why he's doing all this. Come on, Tony. Yeah, Tony. Oh, that's fucking new. Oh, that's new too. Stun them. Ooh, come on, come on, Scarlet. Oh my God, dude, she always goes for like these fucking triangles. It's kind of cool though. The Chala, the Chala needs a suit. He needs to suit. But they don't have any of their fucking gear because it took it all. Okay. Does that does this ring do something to Bucky's arm? Because Bucky's arm is vibranium, so it makes sense that Chala's ring would interfere with it or something to like kind of stun it for a second. That's what it looked like happened. Bro, Cap is really pulling this fucking helicopter down. Dude. Even for a super soldier, Cap is ridiculously strong. Almost just took his head off. Why did that make me jump? Dude, just let him drown. You got uh, like, if this was anyone else saving him or fighting him right here, they would just let him drown. Okay, this is the scene from Ant-Man. And Ant-Man's post credit scene, this is the scene. Okay. Because I'm not the only Winter Soldier. What? There's another Winter Soldier? Okay, yeah, this is the beginning. Okay, so it was Super Soldier Serum. And damn, damn, they just gave it the hell of fucking people. Okay, so Bucky's mission was to go retrieve the super soldier serum, bring it back so they could re mass produce it, and give it to a bunch of other people and mass produce winter soldiers. Oh no. So the super soldiers all just went rogue. Alright, that's, that's great. Hydra history. And that was before the serum. They all turn out like you. <laughs> before the serum. You can take a whole country down in one night. You never see them coming. Oh, fuck. 
he did. Who knows if the Accords will let him help us. That is also true. You would definitely need Tony in this. This is where you need the Avengers to come in. It's 30 super soldiers? Like, uh, it's just like, that's why you need the Avengers for shit like this. I'm putting special ops on this. And what happens when the shooting starts? What you Your special about? ops are getting fucking waxed, okay? They're all dying. Sa save your men. <laughs> Be great if we had a Hulk right about now. Any shot? Yeah, where the fuck is he? <laughs> hey, mate. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, we got Spider-Man in this movie? Okay. All right, that's a that's a lit. I didn't know Spider-Man was in Civil War. Oh. Do you know that's all fake? It's all done on the computer. Mm -hmm. I, and it's all VFX. It's, like it's all Corridor Digital's fucking work. It's a long story. So. Uh, seeing these? Yes, yes, I can. Look, I can. <laughs> Tony's just clowning. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. <laughs> Just kind of help me focus. You're in dire need of an upgrade. Systemic, top to bottom. Yeah, let me, let me help you out with that. Come in. <laughs> that was great. That was a great interaction right there. Oh, what's up? I guess I should have knocked. Yeah. Oh my God. Is that you out there? I'm supposed to go water skiing. Cap needs our help. Come on. Oh, he's breaking her out. That's what he's doing. Dude, he's not doing shit though. Visions. <sighs> Wanda, what do you? I don't know. Damn, this is like Loki is foreshadowing what happens in Infinity War. Have a getaway car. Well, well, well. Fucking slug bug. Oh, oh she got all this. No. <laughs> okay, so I guess Buggy's just a. He's cool now. I guess I'll wear it off. It's kind of convenient. Crash in the helicopter, I guess, made him normal again. He, he can control himself. But what if the doctor starts reading that book again? Then what? Good for Cap. Closest thing he can get to Peggy. Can't have her. Go after her niece. I, th <laughs> I think that's her niece. I put a little coffee in them, but... Oh my god, we got Amit. <laughs> okay, yeah, Sam did say, I know a guy. And he did say that at the end of Civil War, so it's like, you know. This is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a fan. So if you come with us, you're a wanted man. He's been a wanted man. Up. All right, we know who's on which team. Let's see how this goes. He's behind all of this. He is. Captain. Yeah, this is personal for T'Challa. Under Roos. All right, we got Spider-Man in action. Oh, that suit looks nice. Thank you. Yeah, we don't really need to start a conversation. Okay. <laughs> Captain. He took his shield from him. You've been busy. He's You've getting been... that shield back. Um, All right. All right. Kick off. Oh, yeah. See, Ant Man's pretty OP. Copy that. All right. Cap versus T'Challa. Who we got? You have the right to remain silent. Peter. Focus. Okay, well, Cap team, Cap's team has Wanda, so I low-key got Cap's team winning this just because of Wanda. Because Wanda seems like she's the most powerful. Like, yeah, I fucking feel it. I feel them. Hey, buddy, I think you lost this. <laughs> Dude, that's such a fucking New York thing to say. What Peter just did. Couldn't have done that earlier. I hate you. <laughs> That's pretty damn unfair to do to Rhodey. Oh man, I thought it was a water truck. Oh my. Uh, sorry. Bro. <laughs> Why'd you have to do Rhodey like that? <laughs> Alright, this is personal. Oh, not in Clint fighting. That hurts to see. It's been so no hard you hit me. <laughs> Alright, yeah, they're just sparring. Sparring. I didn't kill your father. Then why did you run? 
So it was the other guy. Okay, so I, I definitely think it was the other guy who framed Bucky. But I mean, like, dude, if everyone's after you, like, even if you didn't do it, they're still going to shoot you on sight. You got to run in that case. It was a good try, Spidey. It was a good try. Is he going to go in Tony's suit and just turn it off? Not turn it off, but just... Oh, dude, he could totally just do this to Tony inside the suit. Just... That would bug the fuck out of me. Friday? We have some weapon systems offline. Hey, what? Oh, you gotta, oh. you're gonna have to take this into the shop. He's just unplugging his shit. It's your conscience. We don't talk a lot these no. days. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, okay, what if A-Man just turned big right here? That would literally kill Tony. Like... You know, why isn't he, I mean, he's not trying to kill him, but like, why doesn't he just do that to everyone else? Or like, do that to actual enemies? Sure about this guy? No, he's not. I do it all the time. I mean, what? Dude, oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay. He turns big right here. I remember he did it one time in the other movie after this but i don't know how yeah he, he didn't do it in his own movie yeah but he said he can't hold it for very long oh we haven't met yet yeah who are you <laughs> this to him i'm clint i don't care oh good shit wanda good shit ah. sound waves Oh. oh, oh wait, she helped him? All right. You ever seen that really old movie? Uh, Empire Strikes Back? Jesus. Yes. Young side. <laughs> oh, he's gonna pull a Luke Skywalker right here. We're on the snow planet? Uh, on Hoth. Walking thingies! AT-ATs. That was awesome! Good job, Peter. Oh. Is he dead? It's probably... right? hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Get outside. Guess who? Hey. Hi. Hey. Oh. Hey, man. That's not when I wake her up. <laughs> it's as I said, catastrophe. Yeah. Hey, but at least no one died. No one died. That's what matters. But now it looks like, well, at least one division realized, yeah, this isn't worth it. Like we're splitting up because of this. No, we got we got to stay together. We got to stay together as a team. You copy. Target is thruster. Turn him into a glider. Bruh. Oh my god. Read vitals. Heartbeat detected. Emergency okay. medical is on its way. Okay, I was thinking he doesn't die. But like, dude, that was a hard fall. Sorry. That was a hard. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. That was a hard ass fall, dude. Damn. Bro, Tony's probably so fucking pissed that that happened to Rhodey. Tony's out for blood. Game distracted. <sighs> I didn't think that was possible. Neither did I. Yeah. What, his love for Wanda distracted him? So he, he has that human element. Run facial recognition yet? What do I look like? Uh, I don't know. Bro. You must... she have an attitude? Why does this AI have an attitude? <laughs> this is approximating the appearance of one James Buchanan Barnes. Oh. So, yep, so that's how he framed Bucky. So is he trying to get into the old Hydra compact? I think that's what, I think that's what this is. Okay, so these are where the Winter Soldiers are. They weren't on the loose, just rogue. Okay, so they've been in cryo since 91, I'm guessing. Okay, that's fucking amazing. Damn. Free my girl Wanda, come on. So they locked up everyone. Chance he's gonna break it. Yeah, Tony, look at what? Who are you? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. I feel like he just made that up. I'd like to watch the line blink. 
Surprise! Hi, we're <sighs> Tony said he came alone, which he thinks he did. He didn't come with Black Panther, but the Chala is here and he's gonna try and kill Bucky, and now they're all gonna start fighting. And Zemo somewhere in here. Just realized. There's a bit of green in the blue of your eyes. I did notice that too. Earlier in the. Oh. Uh, okay, this is Bucky's scene. A car crash. And where he stole the super serum. <sighs> oh. Well, this is awkward. I don't think Cap knew that. Yes. Cap, you fucking knew about this? He knew that Bucky killed Tony's parents? <laughs> Alright, this is personal. This is personal now. I'm rooting for Tony. Oh, Tony, you're gonna need every single gimmick you fucking got. Yeah, I mean, Zemo is right. He's like an empire that gets crumbled by its enemies can rebuild, but one from the inside, that shit's dead. And that's exactly what he did. He turned them all against each other. It wasn't him. That is also true. Bucky wasn't aware of what he was doing, but that's really hard for Tony to look past right now. He's not gonna stop. Go. Yeah, Tony could do this all day. So Cap versus Tony, just one-on-one. -on -one. Wait, where's Black Panther at? Why isn't he... Where's he at right now? He should be pulling up right now. Yeah, we can do without your shield. I remember all of Bucky, why would you say that? Bucky, you have total control of your mind right now. Why would you say that? Like, you're trying to calm Tony down, not piss him off. Yeah. And your dad, too, right? Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, trying to kill Bucky's not going to change what happened, yeah. But, but Tony's just so pissed. Okay, this shot, that shot was fucking sick. I love that. Oh. It blew his fucking arm off. He tried to rip out Tony's core and that shit just... Oh my... Okay, that was raw as fuck. That was... the shot of the entire MCU I've, I've seen so far. The best single shot. Imagine I don't put that in the video. It took me two days Damn. until I found their bodies. So they died. His family died in Sokovia. Yeah. I'm sorry about your father. That would be the way to do it. He's consuming them. Mm-hmm. It's consuming Tony. The living are not done with you yet. Oh. Dude, I fucking love the Chala. Oh my god. Analyze his fight pattern. Scanning. Oh, He's literally analyzing his fight pattern. See, that's the thing about Tony Sue. He can analyze his fight pattern and just counter everything because he knows exactly what he's going to do based off patterns. Damn. I feel like Cap really didn't want to do that, but he had to just, you know, because Tony wasn't going to stop. That was a powerful scene. Did it. I mean, he turned them on each other, so technically didn't fail. It's just a first pass. Yeah. Give me some feedback. Anything you think of shock absorption. Okay. Cup holder. So okay, so Rody got paralyzed and Tony. No, no, don't, don't help, don't help. So Tony built him this to help him walk again. Are oh. you Tony Stank? <laughs> Stanley. This is this is Tony Stank. You're yeah. in the right place. I think of him a cameo. But by not telling you about your parents, I was sparing you. But kinda. Like now that I was really sparing myself. 
Yeah, but he deserves to know the truth. Please hold. No, don't. Oh, he's. I'll be there. He's breaking his boys out. All right. Okay. 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 I gotta put another camera battery in. All right. We're gonna watch the post credit scenes. Got a camera battery, and also. For the Ant-Man post credit scenes, guys, I 100% intended to put that in my video of the Ant-Man video and the Age of Ultron video, but I I think I just forgot, if I'm being honest. So, I do apologize for that. I do apologize. This one's definitely going to get the post credit scene in it. So, anyways, let's watch. Very responsible and noble. Let them drive. Where are they in Wakanda? Pretty sure. Yep, they are. All right. Okay, why can't Tony be like T'Challa right there? Like, I mean, T'Challa, he's a he's a perfect human being. So that's why. Oh. Ouch. Well. <laughs> yeah, some guy named Steve punched me in the face. He beat me up. Tony gave him. Yep. Well, that's cool. And we'll return. All right. Well, that was Captain America's Civil War. Okay, first initial thoughts. I think this is the best MCU movie I've seen so far on the channel. That was a great movie. That was a great movie. Okay, so that was Captain America Civil War. Honestly, that felt like an Avengers type of movie, level movie. You know, we I feel like we got every fucking character in it that we've seen so far, which I'm not mad about, but it's like definitely it just felt like an Avengers movie where everyone's in it. Everyone's in it. We got we got Spider-Man in here too. So he got introduced in this movie. Now, yeah, Spider-Man movie comes after this one. I just I looked just to double check. In release order, Spider-Man comes a little bit later. So I guess this is uh, but basically this movie was just about okay. It was about two ideologies basically the government and all the um, nations were like hey the avengers uh they're they're saving our ass here but it's a lot of collateral damage here you know and i like how it shows that it really shows you the repercussions of everything and like more from like the civilians perspective you know and like all their fights and everything like you don't really think about that when you're watching i mean i definitely pointed it out a little bit when I was watching both movies, for two first Avengers movies, but it's not like your biggest thought really, you know? And so like a lot of people died in New York and a lot of people died in Sokovia. So, you know, but I don't really feel like you can really stop that. That's not like, it's inevitable, you know? It's like when you attack a city filled with a population and the Avengers had to come in and save it, it's like it's like what are you gonna do you know you can't back like you don't have time to evacuate the city like everyone's trying to get out but there's a fight going on you know you know it's like one of the you know like the memes or whatever like i saw i see a bunch of tweets all the time on twitter like imagine you're just going to your car to go to work and superman just throws your car your car across the city you know and it's like well what the fuck <laughs> you know it gives you like that perspective more and i i really like that but and so you have two different ideologies on what should happen you have tony's side who's like yeah we, we should probably be limited a little bit because you know he really like with that scene with the lady um right before they got in the elevator she told him like yeah my son died in sokovia that was that was your fault and so that that hit pretty hard for tony right there and kind of like gave him a nice like reality check of like oh shit, we we should do something but then cap's like well i don't want them to take away our our freedom of being the avengers and control us because we're where does it start you know it's a slippery slope you know soon like he doesn't want to be used for something that's not morally correct with cap so i do get it and i'll be honest like i i couldn't choose a side like throughout the entire movie i was like i was like flipping and flopping of like which side i wanted to be on but you know, I guess that just shows the movie did a really good job of showing us both sides to the argument. It wasn't just biased towards one side. But, okay, one thing I really liked was T'Challa. I was aware of his character, Black Panther, before watching the movie, but I haven't seen the Black Panther movie. So, this was my first introduction to him too, as, as well as it was for you guys. And 
great character you know he wanted to kill bucky for killing his dad and he realized at a certain then but then he eventually realized well it wasn't bucky like he was being mind controlled so he didn't have control over what he did you know so he's like you know what it's really zemo's fault if anything but vengeance won't consume me anymore that was a hard line <sighs> he, he's a great character and I like how he stopped Zemo from Zemo killing himself. He's like, uh, we're not done with you yet. The living's not done with you yet. So that was that was really cool. Um, and then that kind of brings me to Tony's side. Tony went through the same thing basically, but he couldn't control the like his rage in that moment, and he just wanted to murder Bucky for murdering his parents. And I mean, I don't blame him, but. But look at T'Challa. T'Challa. T'Challa was easily, not easily, but he was able to be like, you know what? This isn't the way to go. It's not going to make me feel better. It's not It's not the right thing to do here. Tony was just off one on the end right there. And okay, like Cap probably should have told Tony that like, hey, yeah, Bucky was the one who murdered your parents. But at the same time, it's kind of like you didn't. I get I Cap thought he was protecting him or sparing him by telling him that. But Cap knew, but deep down Cap knew like subconsciously that would be a tough conversation for him and that would ruin that would for sure would have ruined his relationship with with Bucky and Tony just sooner or whatever. But I mean he could have told Tony before Bucky even came in in the first place just so Tony could like have that closure, but I guess like what does what you don't know won't hurt you that kind of thing right there so maybe captain just didn't think it was necessary to tell him that because it's like like tony it's been some time for tony since his parents died and you know it's like why you know tony doesn't want to relive all the pain he went through when he first lost him probably so that's probably why cap didn't say anything but you know and if you really think about it the avengers really lost in this movie like they no one really won who zemo's the one who won because he tore them apart you know, he got what he was trying to do. Zemo accomplished what he was trying to do by tearing them apart. And he did it because, like, he realized, yeah, I'm not powerful enough. I'm just a man. I can't take them all on, like, physically. I have to break them apart psychologically. And that's exactly what he did. So that's a really good villain right there. That's a smart villain right there. Realizing his strengths and his weaknesses is that I'm not going to beat you with my physical body i'm gonna beat you with my mind basically type thing type play right there that's that's a game of thrones type play right there yeah so zemo really good really good villain for the movie but yeah i'm gonna stop wasting time comment down below what you thought about the movie i'm definitely gonna put the post-credit scenes in this video and if you like the video like the video thanks for watching